docking of the International Space Station. Uh, she is uh, part of that Orbit 3 team that is led by Flight Director Marcos Flores tonight. He is the lead flight director for the Crew-9 mission. In the foreground, uh, popping in and out of the field of view, is uh, NASA astronaut Anne McClain, the commander of the uh, Dragon Endurance that automatically docked at the forward port of the Harmony module in the wee hours of Sunday morning to initiate about one-plus days of handover activities with the Crew-9 crew. The abbreviated handover was specifically designed to provide as many undocking opportunities as possible for Crew-9. The decision to bring uh, the Crew-9 crew back to Earth on Tuesday was dictated by what is forecast to be pristine weather conditions at uh, the various uh, landing sites uh, in the Gulf of America that uh, the uh, Dragon Freedom will be uh, coming home to uh, late Tuesday afternoon with splashdown scheduled at 4.57 p.m. Central Time, 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time. Nick Haig, the uh, commander of uh, the Dragon Freedom, uh, floating through the uh, hatchway. Uh, we will uh, see uh, Williams and Wilmore shortly as they uh, are completing uh, their uh, suit-up uh, activities. The final suit-up uh, will take place once the four crew members are inside Dragon and the hatch is closed between Dragon and the International Space Station. The station hatch on that side of the dock. All hooks open. All hooks are open. And undocking confirmed. Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Harper Wilmore begin their belated trip the home. Separation confirmed. Undocking occurring right on time at 12.05 a.m. Central Time, 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Good motion, good stability on Dragon as it backs away. And you can't help but want to just come to the cupola and, and look outside as much as you can. And a lot of folks I, I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the Earth. Functioning as advertised. And favorite class grill. We know the station's in great hands. We're excited to see what you guys, Green Iron's going home. And for crew arrival, we ring a bell in Navy tradition, and for crew dine, I did a baritone salute as you undocked. and uh, to enable better communications between the tracking and data relay satellite system and Dragon's communications capability itself.